Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Jade Louise. This is a little bit like spare the moment. I didn't specifically order a Boohoo package to do a video or anything, um, as you've seen them from the beginning. So in tragic happened to my like day to day flip flop. Um, I caught it on my back door on the way coming in from the garden the other day and it literally caught the flip flop and it ripped and I needed a casual flip flop. I got fancy ones for going out, but not a day to day. So I ordered two pairs of sliders, one for the house, one for casual going out. And then a few items kind of accidentally <laughs> got checked into the basket as well. It's not a massive haul, but I thought we're in lockdown. Why not? In uh, for you can enjoy me. So I have already unwrapped the initial packaging. I haven't opened up like just the main boohoo one, but haven't opened these yet. And it was just because when I started recording, um, Mason was still be in the background and you still hear him, but he was very, very, very vocal. And um, yeah. So these, oh yeah, these are the jelly ones. I think these would be like my house ones. I don't know yet. So I'm a shoe size six. I got these nude jelly sliders. They had none of the flip flops left. Um, I tried the black flip flop that I already had, um, sold out my size. And I tried the same flip flop with like a beige strap. So it does, it only had some um, sliders that I get hold of, but I thought, it's just on the house, but I think it's quite robust. Um, and it's a slider, I can just like, very, very easy to wipe down if they get dirty. So yeah, just a casual, put, you know, you're recycling in the bin and all that jazz. So for a weather around the house, they do look quite nice though. I don't know, have a look at the other slides and I'll decide which one's gonna be house and which is gonna be uh, casual for outside. So this is the other sliders that I ordered. Let's have a look. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So these are definitely going to be my um, outdoors. So the more like that's like a suede, not a suede. That's a light. It's a leather. Um, suede's kind of a bit furry, isn't it? But yeah, it's more of a leather um, slider. And I think that's so good just for for cash, uh, for going out. So okay. So I've got my cash slider. Uh, for going out and I've got my house sliders, a slip on, um, obviously slippers just don't cut it, especially when I'm emptying out the pool every so often, cleaning that out for the kids and getting slippers wet, so yeah, I've done that. So, there was three more things that happened to pop into my basket, um, first, we're, I will put, I will try these on for you guys, so that's a pair of skinny jeans so it's a plus high waist skinny jean and it's a uk size 20 so okay so. sometimes i just find with boohoo their jeans they're just a little bit hit and miss sometimes they're they're fit nice and snug and you're like yes and especially in the high waisted jean i like to be kind of tucked in and like pulled in a little bit more but then sometimes they can be like a bit baggy around the crotch area and it's just not flattering and I want a high waist so I could wear like a high waist, not a high waist, but like a crop top or something to, to complement the high waisted jeans, if that makes sense, rather than just a basic jean. Do you know what? I, don't, I really don't think I should be vlogging today because I'm just so not with it. I just, I feel like arse. I feel like arse and I'm tired, but we're going to power through. So yeah, nice nice material i can't go on the quality from boohoo um especially for like the price like the material's always good quality's always good um so yeah i'll just check these bad boys on okay so yes these jeans are a really good fit they still got a bit of giving um nice material pull you up hasn't really got much of the excess going on by here so it's perfect for a crop top or a bodysuit um i was already wearing this bodysuit but kind of feeling like a bit of a grease sandy moment um with the off the shoulder but really nice really comfortable stretch nice bit of give as i said you haven't got too much of the excess material it's like just a little bit but yeah that's what i look for in a high-waisted jean anyway um nice fitting not too much that is literally overspilling 
comfy and you know what it's, it's a sit down test and that's especially with shorts going to the other mirror i always usually do a sit down test to see especially with shorts see how far they come up when i sit down you've got to be comfy as well but yeah good jeans like i got my house sliders on already but yeah they're good i'm happy with that so not bad for a spontaneous little little purchase and i can go with my I've got this lovely, oh, do you know what I'm going to show you? Let's go for it. Let's go into my cupboard. Like my iron ball's there. Um, I do have a bit of OCD, guys, when it comes to closets, even the kids' wardrobes. Everything that's in the closet has to be ironed and hung up. I can't just have clothes not ironed. So I've got my skirts and trousers, a um, bit of matchy matchy going on there. Um, I've then got my casual dresses I kind of wear with trainers or white pump in um, my denim jacket. I've also got a little leather crop jacket. Then I've just literally got my cash t-shirts that I can wear. Then I've got my bodysuits. Then I've got more my blousy evening tops and then my evening dresses and maxi dresses. But what I was thinking of with these jeans is this top that I got from Sheen. It's part of a co-ward. It's quite a shiny material. The top's not too bad. It's nice and pretty. Um, but the shorts are really a thick, shiny, kind of swimwear material. And for this summer, it's not about that line. So I got rid of the shorts, but I kept the top, I think. Ugh. Let me get it up. Off the shoulder. This, red lips. Nice shoes. I think that'll be be nice but yeah you just had a bit of an insight to my uh to my wardrobe here yeah, i can't do that one-handed jade so i'm just gonna ugh, close that cupboard door there we are how professional is that vlogging <laughs> but yeah we'll uh, go on to the uh next purchase so yeah it's a little bit of an insight to my cupboard guys um obviously still a bit amateur with like vlogging so there's a bit of i'm trying to close the cupboard door but you know we're gonna roll with it roll with it so the next item is a plus floral print floral. I feel like I need to reset the day. I am literally not with its form. Okay, plus floral print shirt dress. It says pale blue. Is it pale blue? I thought it was white. Oh, that's interesting. Does that look like pale blue to you guys? Because to me that looks that looks right, but still pretty so this is um this shirt dress size 20 and you know what guys i've done it again i haven't gone a size up and what's on it what's on it buttons it's a button shirt dress so we will see if it passed the test and whether my bust are trying to escape out of these buttons but really nice material um kind of like I'm trying to think of like a, just a nice thin it's not polyester as in like the shiny it's more of like a rougher fabric but, but nice but yeah we'll uh check this on well i haven't needed uh to go a size up thank goodness if i did it'd be massive but the buttons fit nice and i can kind of see that that blue tinge now rather than it just being pure white but i just know i just feel like it's not that flattering on me and i just i just feel like i'm in a dressing gown or i'm in a 90 um which in here yeah, i don't know guys you let me know your comments you can be honest you know, i'm not gonna be offended because i'm really not sure I wonder if I put a belt, whether the black belt's gonna to be too heavy because it's a floral print. Um, I, just, I, just, I just feel like this is a 90. I just don't feel like I could go out in this and feel done up and pretty. And it's a shame because like, the pattern's pretty. I think if it was just like tapered in at the waist or something, um, oh, I don't know, I just, I just feel like, I feel like my Nana Pat. So yeah, not 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 kind of what I was expecting from the photo or the saw how to look. It's a shame because the print's so pretty. I'm gonna try with a black belt um, and see if uh, that house. I've got a funny feeling the belt belt's not gonna go with this pretty dainty dress. So I don't know, we'll just give it a go. 
bite. So I think I might have saved it a bit. It just it looks so much better when you kind of pull it in. I think if I wore my black strappy, strappy shoes, I might kind of get away with it. I just don't know about the, the if the black is harsh or not. It's just better when it's pulled in as I try and look for like another belt or it's a shame it hasn't got the little fins on the side to kind of draw it in. Um, I think it would look nice as a baggy shirt if it wasn't so long. Like if it came up a bit shorter um, and it was just like that baggy shirt look, I think that would have been good as well. I think just because it's so long and it's just so straight kind of like what you'd think it is that it just looks like a 90 um and i don't think it's that flattering um because yes i'm curvy but you know i'm proud and i'm starting to appreciate and love my body which is why i've started doing this and i you know i don't want to have to hide my my womanly curves so yeah i think i think i think i could save it I don't know, or do you think guys I should just send it back because I'm honestly thinking, am I actually going to wear this? Um, I might have a look at belts though, see if I can get maybe like a lighter belt or something I can cinch it in. If we weren't in lockdown, my nan is amazing and I know my nan would be able to really take in quite a bit of the waist. Um, it's just a shame really, I just love the pattern, it's just a shame about kind of the style of it um, and how it fits on me. Okay, let's go on to the last item. Yeah, so do you know, it, it, this is comfy mind. I think it's when there's risk, and I know it wouldn't work for me because I'm big chested. But if you're a plus girl but you haven't got, you know, big bust, I reckon if you went like a size down, it probably fits a bit more fit and a bit more better. Um, for me, this is what I struggle with because even though I'm big, when I order like sizes twenty, um sometimes they, they just don't taper in at the waist and it's just because of the burst and I usually have to go like a size up because of the boobs but then it's just baggy everywhere else and then I just find like well that's not really showing or fitting like my figure that great so anyway next one let me know girls like with your body types what is the one thing that you kind of struggle with because obviously we are in a world where it's just generic sizing and Everyone, everyone who is a size 20 is not a size 20. Everyone who's a size 18 is not a size 18. Everyone who's a size 24 is not always a 24 because we have all got different shapes to our bodies, not just sizes, but different shapes. We've got, a, you know, I've got my butts, I've got my hips and I've got my boobs. It's just everyone's different shapes. And I just think, I just think it's crazy like how generic size, but anyway, that's, that's my round, but let me know what you girls struggle with and let me know like how you work around it or what you find works for you because that would be really helpful for me. Okay, so last item is the plush crocheted um, knit beach maxi dress, size 20. So I literally got this for holiday, um, just like in the daytime and so you go into the restaurants, obviously you can't just sit in the restaurants in a bikini, it's just something to like throw over the top for flip flops. Have a feel. I feel like this. Oh, see, good. This is really good. Not massively holy. Nice. Just, just good quality actually. There's not much fraying um, at the seams or anything. So, yeah, that's really that's, that's good quality. I'm happy with that. So, guys, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna embrace my body um, and I'm gonna put um, a bikini on underneath to just give this full potential. And plus, I'd, yeah, well, obviously it doesn't see me naked, but yeah, I'll put a bikini on underneath and um, we'll get this on and yeah. Guys, so this is the length. Really nice, really good quality. Um, feels really luxurious as well. I love like, the different pattern. Quality again, so there's no fraying anywhere on the material, like no big holes or anything. It's just, yeah, quality is really, really good on this. Woo so if you want to have a camera, I've got to admit, this is the first time I was a little bit nervous, kind of bare, bare all. I suppose not massively bare all, because I still got this kind of covering a little bit. I just, at that point in my life, you know, I'm 32 years old, I'm a mum of two. And I think for the last 20 years, my life 
is being dictated by foods and calorie. And I used to literally yo-yo diet like you wouldn't believe. I'd be so obsessed about calorie counting to have that body that I feel like people should think I have or just know as I put in a photo up and people judging because I put a bit of weight on after having the children. Um, Because I always was, even though I was always curvy and I had an hourglass and always had my hips, even when I was skinny in my teenage years. Um, I think going from that to then becoming a woman and um, putting on a bit more weight, um, it just, I just felt so much pressure. Society put so much pressure on me to be a certain way. And I just haven't been living my life. I just haven't. I just haven't been enjoying it. I used to think, oh, if I'm going on date nights with Andy, or if I'm going out with the girls for a meal, I have to really watch what I'm eating the rest of the week. And then it gets to the point that I would only think about food. So I was so self-conscious of um, calorie counting. And I'm just thinking, like, how many calories do I have left? How many calories um, can I have now? Am I still with my calories? And all I'm doing really is just constantly thinking about food. I'm just making myself more hungry. And I just feel actually now, I'm just, I'm not actually eating half as much because I'm not constantly thinking about food. I'm not dictated by when I can eat, what I can eat, and I'm not overthinking about it. And it's not a constant thing that's on my mind. Um, and I'm just, I'm just loving my body, you know. I've, everyone is different. Um, everyone's massively unique. There's only one of you and no matter about your size, your body, your hair colour, your face, your skin care, anything, even just you as a person, there's only one of you. And I just got to that point, like, I just want to live my life and I want to enjoy it. That's what I want to do. I want to live my life. I want to enjoy it. I want to be happy. And um, I just want other people to get to the point where I am now and I'm just absolutely heartbroken. I don't want to get emotional that it's taken me this many years to just be comfortable and happy with myself and I just want other people I have had um on my Facebook um people messaging me saying that um they're really empowered and thank you and you know they've struggled you know and they just it, and they're beautiful people and it just absolutely breaks my heart that they feel that they can't really live their life and I just want everyone to just be like look we got one life we are all beautiful, we're all unique. Let's bloody live it and just enjoy it and embrace ourselves, embrace our body, embrace our personality and let's just live life, be positive. And I just literally send in love out there to everybody and I just don't want anybody to feel, I just want everyone to know their self-worth and I just want people to get to the point where I am and just like be happy and just enjoy yourself, honestly, because I am just gutted that I've wasted like 20 years of just worrying about what people thought of my body and literally my life being dictated by food and I just wasn't living and now I'm going to live when lockdown's over you know even if I'm going to go out for a weekend I'm going to go to my favourite Italian I am not going to starve myself throughout the week and just think about food I'll just eat normally um and yeah I just, I know I'm starting to feel comfortable with who I am, you know. And I just want everyone, I'm sorry I got so emotional and this is like just taking a massive turn. But I just want everyone to do that. You know, I'm not promoting unhealthiness or anything. And as I said, like, you know, I'm curvy and I'm a plus size, but I do massively overeat. Um, and I just think the reason why I've gotten to this point now as well is because of my relationship with food, where I was so obsessive over it. I would go the other way and like, and if I had like a bad day, I'd be like, oh bugger it, I've ruined today. And I was massively bingy, like then purposely overeating where I wouldn't have to have done that if I just had a normal healthy relationship with food. And, and that's what I'm starting to do. And I'm starting to appreciate my body, love my body for what it is, love who I am and just know that, you know, that like I'm loved and I got my important friendship group, my family, Everyone who knows me loves me for, for me. And I just want you all to feel like that, people. All I want to do is send out positive vibes. Just love yourself and just live and enjoy life. Wake up, feel happy. Get clothes. Don't worry about if they fit you, you know, and they're, they're hugging in certain areas. 
embrace it just enjoy it live it and i think people make the mistake of i'm not going to shop for clothes yet because i'm not at an ideal weight yet and i'm thinking but you're not going to feel great until you're that that way it's like just get clothes that fit your body now and you just feel a million dollars already like you'll feel good about yourself because you're taking care of yourself so just treat yourself get get some clothes that fit your body now don't worry about your goals just live in the present and just take it as it comes you know so anyway that was a big rant and i'm not even properly facing the camera but i'm sorry and i'm sorry i got emotional but this is why i am doing what i'm doing and honestly thank you all for your support and i just really hope guys you watch this and be like god this woman rants she can rant which i did mention at the beginning when i started up these vlogs but please just love yourselves and please just enjoy your life and just bloody live it and just wake up and feel right this is what i have this is what i've achieved in life this is what i've got and enjoy it and embrace yourselves because you you are all beautiful so yeah well guys i hope you enjoyed that i'm so sorry i just got emotional and i've just probably repeated myself and talked what i said about also about if you've got a goal that's not me saying don't achieve your goal if that is what you want to do absolutely strive you know everyone is completely different i'm not saying don't be healthy and i'm not saying do not achieve your goal i'm just saying live in this moment when you get to that goal that's amazing achieve and celebrate it but while you're living as you are at the moment just make sure you've got a nice few sets of clothes that are going to make you feel great for you now because i think when you start to feel good in yourself that's when things will start happening um so yeah but i hope you enjoyed um it's been a bit of an odd vlog for me it started off really ropey i really didn't feel like i was with it today at all um i just feel like just during this lockdown everyone has their days and i'm, I'm thinking i'm having mine um i'm just so glad to have got the kids they have been in the background and i'm gonna go downstairs now and do um some schoolwork with molly and also got mason who definitely keeps me busy because he's got pica um so he literally tries to eat the house <laughs> i have to stay on top of that but yeah just honestly thank you all for your support and i just hope this has helped someone today um and i just hope that i haven't come across as preachy i'm not preachy i just want i just want all of you know how beautiful you are and i just want you all to love yourselves and again live your life so i'm sending positive vibes people thank you all for your support and i will check in with you guys soon bye